What's going on, everybody? Tom Quiet here, live and amplified. Well, we are back with another live react series. Um, we're gonna wrap up this uh, musician mansion uh, react series or react series of reactions, however you want to word it. Um, this is episode five, the final episode. And then I was also thinking, uh, probably sometime this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere right before Thanksgiving, I'll do a musician mansion kind of wrap up and. Uh, in total reacts, kind of give my thoughts and opinions on the series as a whole, because having gone back and watched some of it, I think uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff in this series so far, and and there's uh, some stuff that I don't like as much, but the, I think a lot of that is personal preferences that is getting uh, locked up in the thought of being factual, but it's all personal preferences. Um, so I think. Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in that ballpark, I will do a full final wrap up reaction and kind of like what I would, you know, kind of what I would like to see in season two. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. So let's jump into the season finale, series finale, season one finale. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's jump into the season one finale of Musician Mansion. Here we go. All right, here we go. As always, amazing Today drum is shots. the last day of Musician Mansion. It has been an incredible week. I appreciate you all so much for being here and for doing this. I have put you through a ton of grueling challenges. So that is one today like, consistent thing is, is they your were, chance all to these extract episodes are shot revenge very well. on me. And what better way to get revenge on Jared than with a good old fashioned comedy roast? So, for today's challenge, each and every one of you will be coming up with some jokes that will truly hurt his feelings. Each one of you will need to come up with three or four um, jokes. You can also roast the other bands if you want, and you can roast your own yeah. bands if you want, but I am the main target. You can have your team help you write the jokes, I, I but each person will really have to present their like jokes tonight individually. Uh, um, don't take it I easy mean, on me. It's gonna be funny, I'm sure. I can handle it. Each time that you can make me laugh, your team will get one point. The winning team with the most this points one of things wins be the free last content, thousand right? dollars. It's gotta be All right, let the roasting challenge begin. There has to, there had to be something better to do, right? Like, record the single and see if you can get the most downloads in 24 hours, I, something. Drone shots are. I think uh, I think I'll miss the most is uh, being around like this type of talent, and it, it really is so inspiring. I feel like it's like the gym partner mm. thing, like having somebody to like go off of it, like really inspires you a ton to be like, man, look at all these people fair. making shit. It's Very like, fair. Yeah, let's do it. Like, let's all we're all doing it. Like, let's all get these views. Let's fucking make content. Let's create music. It's incredible. People just cycling through and just jamming and just switching instruments and finding out that like half these people can play ten instruments mm. is like, oh my god, it's just so much talent. It's so fucking awesome. See, now to be that's around. the series I'd like to see. I think I'm going to miss just having all these amazing people under one roof because you don't get to do this very often, and everyone's been incredible huh. and. I was a bit apprehensive coming into it because putting big personalities together could be scary Low for key, that's some kind people, of the especially I'd like to see if you're just introverted what or have social anxiety. But everyone has been together. absolutely incredible, and I couldn't have asked for a better bunch to, to do this with. So I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss the camaraderie for sure. I'm really going to miss uh, just, just hanging out with everyone creative, and uh, you know, letting the creative. Everyone's been such good energy kind of and like flow. so cool. So I'm gonna miss just kind of like all these people just being together and like making cool stuff and all the laughs and like memories we've made. Hmm. I think out of the whole experience, I'm probably just gonna miss like the jams because the challenges were fun 
everyone was making me laugh and that was so much fun but like I would just be like in the jam room playing like bass or whatever and people would just come in and out and every time the whole vibe would change everyone the music we were playing would change and I would just blend in and like none of my friends back home are musicians so I don't get that and I'm just like dude every song that everyone comes in and does is like I wish this was a real song and a real band it's so cool and I'm gonna miss that so much that, Even that though would the just house be a cool is episode, loud you know, for 23 saying, hours man. a day, uh, I will kind of miss that, you know, having people around that you can joke and just make funny videos, not necessarily music videos, it's just good vibes. Pretty much 100% certain that this group is not gonna reune. That's a word. Uh, so that's kind of a sad thought, and I'm just not thinking about that. Like, it's just been one of the best group of friends I've ever made in my life. And I'm gonna miss this when I go back home, like, not be able to see them in the morning and, like, just fuck around, mess up. Like, just, like, just be loud and give zero fucks, you know? Because, like, we're in a place where nobody can hear us yell and do that. So mm -hmm. if you're in civilization, back in civilization, you can't just wake up and go, ah! like, it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss it. It's just one of those things that I think, like, I'm gonna miss this, this entire group of people. My favorite moment of the week was probably last night when it was me, Drew, and Justin, and we made like a doom metal band, and you just <laughs> hear Drew the entire time going, yeah! during the slowest fucking dun 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 dun, and he's just like doing this best Jack Black impersonation, <laughs> and he's like doing this like goblin <laughs> band type fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> this nice. is the best thing ever. <laughs> People show, show so much patience with me and just was so nice. I feel yes. like everybody oh, hugs me. I don't know if it makes sense in, in English. Uh, yeah, like they are like a big family for me now. Uh, it's so rare that we get the opportunity to be in the same space physically as, as all of these people. Like some of us have collabed before online. But it's not the same as like getting to share a room, a house, whatever, and actually being in the moment of like having those like oh, like lightning bulb moments of creating something. It's just not something you get uh, pretty much ever in, in, in this job, I guess you would say. Like these are all people I see on my screen every day. Mm -hmm. And I met them. I'm like, oh, this person, I thought they were like this. They're like this. It's cool to see that everyone has, you know, their personal side. Because you forget, you forget that sometimes. Yeah. You just yeah. see the facade. I have a facade. Everyone has a facade. It's good to break. It's good to break through that, not only through one person, but like fourteen other people. And it's like, oh, it's not. It's not only I'm me. Let's see if I can make it through this. I'm entire not only fake as fuck. Pausing, but I doubt but fifteen it's other happen. people are fake. I didn't. I didn't know what I was walking into, because um, I know that this this it's, show is very independent. It's not like it's a, a major t a television network doing it, so I'm so I was curious to see how it was gonna play out. I didn't. I was and and my curiosity has got me to come because mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, this is interesting, but it, it far exceeded my expectations, and it's a it's a mo it's a memory I'll treasure. That's what's up. The whole thing has been amazing, um, like a best best summer of my life, I'd actually say. Yeah, That's 100%, cool. easily. Like, nothing ever this cool has happened to me, so. Welcome, everybody, to the final challenge of Musician Mansion. Mm. Over know. the week, you have shown us your personalities, really think there's a better your way musical to wrap abilities, this. and your passion for what you do. It's been an honor to host this event alongside my good friend, Angel, and I look forward to doing it again next year. Angel, would you like to say a few words? As a matter of fact, I would. Okay. If you have a seat over there. Oh I must say, it's been not only an honor judging this incredible, t t just a necessarily talented group of human beings, but also judging it alongside you, Jared Dines, hmm. a man whose talent is as shallow as my taste in men. <laughs> a man whose signature guitar is as stock as the riffs that he plays on it. You know, it's an amazing time to be a guitarist these days. Oh boy. There's a guitar hero for every identity group out there. Females have Nita Strauss, African Americans have Tosin Abasi, Hispanics have me, <laughs> gays have Polyphia. <laughs> 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 I 
and unchecked autism has Jaredites. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it's been an, a true privilege to spend this week with you guys, and it's my only hope that every single one of you have made Man, lifelong this friends be a this bunch week of insider that jokes. will not only cheer you for your successes in the future, it's but also be, be there through, for guys. constant algorithm changes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> There's one additional special little gift from Mr. Jared Dines that I would like to present to him right now. Do you want to say some words about Jared Dines? Who? Jared Dines, <laughs> the popular YouTuber. I only watch TikTok. That was a sick joke. Hello, all my friends at the Rock Mansion. It's your pal Stevie T, and I really wish I could be there with you guys, but it turns out this month I've been really, really busy with crippling anxiety. But enough about me. No one wants to roast me. We are here to roast the man of the hour, Jared Genty Daddy Dines. You know, when I first heard that Jared was doing like a, a rock and roll reality show in a mansion, I was like, he ran out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, and I wish I'd have thought of it. Uh. I mean, we're all just rehashing the same idea week after week, trying to remain relevant. Jared, I mean, not, not me, personally. <laughs> well, cheers to you, Jared. I love you, you're my brother and gent, and I, I can't imagine my career without you. My most fond memories of YouTube is hashing it out with you, trying to find out the gentiest of all. Just could not imagine my career without you. And yet, even after all these years, you still think gent is a genre. Oh, and Jared, if you could do one last thing for me, if you could just download Raid Shadow Legends, links in the description. Whatever, I'm not even here. That was good. All right, let the roast begin. That was good. Grasshopper, Very good. you guys won yesterday's challenge, so you get to decide who goes first. <laughs> right. Sick. All right. <sighs> Thank you all so much for having me. This has been such a crazy experience. From the second I walked in the door, I remember thinking, when is my flight home? <laughs> <laughs> The first time I met Jared, he was walking through a convention center with an entourage. And just like the HBO show of the same name, mm. he was pretty good at first, but now we just can't wait for him to get canceled. <laughs> According to the internet, Jared's net worth is $2 million. And he still had to crowdfund the prize money for this show <laughs> because he spent it all on ghostwriters so he can role play as a musician. <laughs> That was good. Uh, Anthony Vincent came here to learn how to use AirDrop. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley and Sophie are here, so I'm glad Jared supports Take Your Brit to Work Day. <laughs> I'm also glad I get to go before Andrew Baina so that he can take my jokes and tell them a little bit differently. <laughs> Austin Dickey is here. You look like a poodle on human growth hormone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> they say uh, slavery ended in 1863, but that didn't stop Jared from uh, making Howard Jones do all the work in Scion. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'll make this quick so Jerry can get back to his busy schedule of playing Diablo and jerking off. Same. I <laughs> uh, can't imagine how excited you must be to have 20 different people to use for the thumbnails for these videos. <laughs> you inspired me and so many other guitarists to pursue this career. We wouldn't be here without you. Some of us might actually be like doctors and lawyers and, you know, make actual money and shit like that. <laughs> In all seriousness, this event has been amazing. 
I hope it hasn't been as disappointing to you as your hairline. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good evening. Courage. <laughs> Strength. Positivity. Happiness. Oh boy. These are all qualities that cannot be found in Jared. <laughs> when Jared hit me up to come here, I was excited. He was like, oh, it's going to be a mansion. There's going to be a bunch of talented musicians. However, he forgot to mention he was going to be here as well. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a lot of jokes about his hairline, which is, you know, obvious. But there's a lot of remedies now. Have you heard of finasteride? There's a problem with it, though. It might cause erectile dysfunction. But if you think about it, it means he has to choose boner loss or hair loss. He chose both. <laughs> Joseph talked about the budget. I'm pretty sure I know where the budget went. How much is he paying you, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on putting this together. Out of all the people on YouTube, all the people I know, you're the last one I expected to pull something off like this. It's kind of a compliment. Could you, can we, get, can we clap? Perfect, thank you. I'm sorry, bro. That was it? Oh, it's gonna be good. I have a feeling this is gonna be good. Rode! It's going to be good. I just have a feeling. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Jared. Do you remember back in January 2015, there was a vocal contest that you did? And the winner was a very sexy, sexy green-haired man. <laughs> and he made a very specific noise. Do you remember? It was at two minutes and six seconds. You remember that noise? Hold on. Just in case you guys haven't seen the video, I got it right here. I'll pull it up. Okay. Here's the noise. It's the most played part of the video. Mm -hmm. And can we all agree? It kind of sounds like a moan, right? So I didn't want to be presumptuous, but I thought maybe Jared didn't pick me to win because of the vocal ability, it might have been because of that sound. So, the next year you did another contest. Okay. I won again. And in the second contest, I dressed up as a French maid. And some people might think that it was because I was trying to clean up the competition. Because we all know that people that are vocalists on YouTube can't actually sing. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Really, the reason I wore the dress was because I wanted you to see what I looked like as a lady with a beard. It was a little strange to me to assume that you might have been into that. However, I won two contests and also worked. Do you remember back in, I think it was like February 2018? It was like Nam, and at Nam. I met you there. Do you remember what I was wearing? I'll remind you. I was wearing very, very tight pants. You came over and you like, I was lying on the ground and you just like spanked my ass right next to the drums too. It wasn't even like, like a spank. It was like a paradiddle. <laughs> like you did like a... <laughs> Like, you paradiddled my ass. And I didn't think anything of it. However, I started connecting dots, okay? I started seeing this little web of truths. And I don't want to embarrass you in front of everyone. However, what I noticed was that, do you remember 2019, before I got banned on Twitter? I sent you a tweet. It was, it was a picture of my ass in women's underwear. And your exact words were, Damn. And some of your fans came in. They were like, Jared, you know that's a man's ass. And you literally said, so I'd hit that. And 
don't be offended. I was just on tour with Franz. He f***ed me. He warmed it up for you, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> the Jared. My last walk down memory lane here with you is that I think it was October 2020, you were doing this whole thing with like the OnlyFans meme, remember that? And you, your fans really wanted you to start an OnlyFans and you just kept saying no. And eventually you kind of like went into the meme and did that like content with uh, Matt Heafy. Song was okay. But um, <laughs> I remember on the post where you did that, I commented and was like, Jared, I just started an OnlyFans if you want to collab. It got like a hundred and something likes. So I wanted to give you the opportunity today to do a little collab with me. Hold on. It, uh, if, if you want to hold this for me. Now, Jared, don't be scared. Your girlfriend already said it was fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Just spank it. <laughs> but seriously, thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's one way to do it. That was quite the performance. <laughs> so when I was asked to be a part of this, I thought this mm. is a really interesting concept. I thought, wow, this is this never been done before. And I'm thinking this is a really good strategy to possibly, you know, get some viewership because I mean, look, it's it's an incredible concept. Mm. But you know, Jared your YouTube channel is less likely to make a comeback than your hairline. <laughs> you look like... A lot of hairline. <laughs> Jared. You look like TJ Detweiler's mugshot <laughs> after a 50-year-long meth binge. <laughs> I do give credit where credit's due. Jared is absolutely one of the metal YouTubers of all time. Mm. Uh, TJ Detweiler. That's Joe. all I got. That was a... <laughs> uh, that was a bit of a deep cut yeah. Jared, when you hit me up for this idea, man, I was like, damn, this is, this is something different. It's something fun. I was uh, honestly impressed that, you know, you, you managed to afford a multi-million dollar castle to have 20, you know crazy YouTubers around uh, for this wild show, and it's, it's kind of unfortunate that no one will see it because you couldn't afford the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, man, I remember, I remember just watching your videos, and uh, we started YouTube around the same time. It was, uh, it was a crazy time, you know? There was no rules, and uh, you went viral for the craziest, you know, 20 styles of, or 10 styles of video? Sorry, there was, there was a lot of them. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, after watching all of those and really being known for the guy that makes Styles video, it's kind of unfortunate to see th this. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah. Also, I know my channel's doing better than yours, but you really didn't have to take away my bed because of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking hell. <laughs> Honestly, man, it's been cool to see you evolve, especially, you know, not just from the YouTube life, but... Into, into streaming, and it's, it's cool to see you finally come back to that. And, uh, oh, oh, you guys might not have known because you probably didn't see it or watch it or care. <laughs> and, man, when it comes to Iconic, you know, there's so many things about Jared that over the years, like whether it's the 20 Styles videos or, you know, jaunt and all the fun jokes with that. But, man, if, honestly, you just actually took time to sell your hat and make a signature hat, I think... That, that was probably the better choice from a guitar because you probably would have actually made some money from it. <laughs> fair. That's fair. Yeah, on half. There you go. Yep. My lady. <laughs> Jared, love you, man. I have a feeling this is Appreciate good. you putting this whole thing on. With that being said, it's a little fucked up of you to make us brutally roast you before you hand out the cash prizes. <laughs> I think Musician Mansion is genuinely a super great idea. It's a very inspired project. And it's actually really smart, too. Mm.
Because when you can't get people to watch your own content, you just get some creators together that people do want to watch. <laughs> Fair. You know, <laughs> I initially thought that you paired up Drusif with Rudy because it's just a funny con, you know, like a contrast. But I'm realizing now that you just didn't want, you just wanted somebody else to babysit Drusip for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, I know you're not the biggest fan of black metal, but I really didn't think that that would inhibit you from inviting black creators. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> for real though, thank you for including me in this. This is an insane group of people, uh, intelligent, incredibly intelligent individuals, a bunch of kind folk. Uh, it's been enlightening wow. and inspiring to be here. Uh, you continue to push the boundaries of what it is to be a content creator. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Good luck and uh, best of wishes to you on your tax write-offs next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to nominate someone? Uh, uh, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. All right. All right. Uh, on the mic. Get on the mic. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is he bleed? No, he's not bleeding. Okay. Uh, Castle Grey, Ca Team Castle, Team, Team Greystone. More like Team Gravy Stone. <laughs> Because your riffs are shit, <laughs> and gravy is brown like brown shit. <laughs> <laughs> and the singing sounds like the noises your dad, ma your mum makes when I'm, <laughs> when I'm. <laughs> when I'm when I'm fucking your your. Noise from your mom makes when she's fucking like your mom. Like, uh, <laughs> I have no team idea. Grasshopper, more like team us. Whatever. <laughs> team Team Grasshopper songs make me want to hop my gra ass ass off a bridge. Okay. <laughs> if your team spent more less time making loud noises and more time not fucking up the video challenge. <laughs> then maybe you might have won the video challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Your band looks like Captain Hook abducted the Goonies <laughs> and brought them to a mansion and made them write bad songs. <laughs> 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 that was good. That was very good. Lauren. <laughs> it has been an incredible week. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Oh. It has been, it has been an absolutely amazing experience. And I'm sure we've all just had so much fun this week. It has been an absolute honor being here with such talented <sighs> vocalists, guitarists, drummers, and Jared. Okay. So thank you guys. Like, th like, thank you so much, Jared. In all honesty, thank you so much for having us. It's been so much fun. It's been an honor to be the reason your channel will be relevant again. Because mm -hmm. you're old. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. No, no, but like, it takes so much thought and so much planning to put a reality show together, producing and hosting can be so daunting and so nerve-wracking, especially standing there day after day, knowing it's not just Angel who can outplay you with only six strings. It's so bad you have to switch to drums, man. Holy shit. Uh, but for real, though, like, 
everyone has been such a good sport this week. I like, you know, coming up with all these crazy challenges, all these twists and turns and surprises you put us through. It's really not easy, man. Like, we'll discuss the executive producer role later since, you know, like, Sky Limit had to take it upon ourselves to make at least one episode good content, you know. Uh, sorry, guys. I mean, one band had to show the viewers what it actually takes to make it in the industry, and it's definitely none of you. So, uh, <laughs> but before, before I end, since mm, no. Sky Limit and I are born again, let us pray and pay our no. respects for Jared's career that he buried with his 18 string. So let, let us pray, let us pray. All right, we've been through a lot this week. Our bodies are broken. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Uh, we're, we're all tired. And you know, just just make sure, guys, to credit Hannah with all the jokes you stole from her. <laughs> uh, at least our cheating was fucking original. Let's have some nice <laughs> drinks tonight. Thank you so much. Mm. Whatever. Mm. Good one. <laughs> you just look like you just fits. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, thank you, Jared, for hosting this, Angel. But I really want to give it up to Sophie. She's about as uh, short as Jared's career. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Jared walk across the joke? I mean, road. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, Angel, thank you for having me. Uh, it's been an unforgettable week. I love each and every one of you. I came into this so nervous and so anxious, and it's been a tremendous honor to get to meet and hang out with every single one of you. Um, I mean, I'm not one to stand on graves. But I appreciate you letting me use your YouTube channel to give me a platform. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but at least you have a platform. Unlike me. <laughs> That's all wow. I got. Uh, <laughs> Jared. I told you many times how grateful I am to be here. I'm very honored that you picked me out of all the Twitch. I mean, nobody here is on Twitch. Out of all the Twitch streamers, like, I'm the one that you picked. And I'm like, why me? Like, am I that obnoxious? Like, I'm so loud. I'm always screaming. I don't know. So that's really cool that you got me here. I'm really honored to be here. So, But um, no, I'm also a drummer. So I've been really, really happy to you know, expand my drumming skills with all the other drummers and everybody here. Making so many friends, I'm gonna miss all of you guys. Like I'm gonna miss make, waking up in the morning and not hearing all of you guys being obnoxious and yelling. And also, you put us in a band so we could be the losers of the competition on purpose because you, you just, your ability to pick on minorities is better than your picking technique. <laughs> <laughs> Latinas, Lebanese, you know, Italian. But the whitest guy in our band, you know, like you just want to pick on him. <laughs> <laughs> just want to always picking on Drusif as, as well. But anyway, <laughs> you should create more Twitter drama with Chris Brown from Trap because that was more exciting than your latest posts. <laughs> But anyway, my parents were saying, you know, where, where are you going? What's this mansion about? Who's going to be there? Why are these musicians all invited there? Who is or organizing this? I had to explain to my parents so many days, so many times, that this is not something suspicious. You know, like I had to tell them, like, Jared Dines, I sent them a link of you explaining what's going on. And they're like, OK? Like, they, they were like, are you got, you're all going to get all together in a room and smoke weed and just get drunk and drugged and play music? Like, <laughs> no, it's not the 80s, OK? Like, I have to explain. So they sent a message, a video. <laughs> it's actually Rudy. <laughs> Sorry, Rudy, I had to use your body again because we were selling your body yesterday <laughs> for the tips. So I guess I, I th that's normal, right? 
Yeah, in your career. You'll, you usually do that. <laughs> World time. All right, all right, yeah, that's cool. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> No one can fucking see me, right? <laughs> Should we move this? She's <laughs> not that short. <laughs> okay, first of all, thank you guys for organizing this. This has been literally like the best fucking week ever. Best summer of my life for sure. And it's been an absolute pleasure to hang out and be with you guys all week. So my time in America has been absolutely amazing. Um, I've not had this much fun in years, though I now understand why you're all so fucking fat. <laughs> because all you fucking eat is fucking sugar and junk, and it's even trashier than your music. <laughs> the fucking healthiest thing here was the century egg. <laughs> so, in all seriousness I will be spending my entire 10 hour fucking flight home tomorrow sulking my ass off because nothing will ever you know come this close you know again I think it's been amazing um, to conclude I love you all so much but I really do have to ask why the fuck do you talk like that <laughs> 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 That's good. Let me be in the same level as Sophie. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Uh. Are you ready? <laughs> what is going on? Figaro, 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 Figaro. Wait. Figaro. <laughs> you guys, everybody. Figaro. Figaro, Figaro. Okay, so. <laughs> I will begin now. <laughs> I can, really, can I start? I don't know how to react to this right now. I just, I didn't start her yet. Oh no! I didn't start her. <laughs> okay. So, do you know the hardcore dance? <laughs> Jared, you need to cut the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that shit. <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> Throw it away, guys. <laughs> okay? So, yeah, but oh. I didn't come for talk the, about the eggs. <laughs> I come to talk about... There's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's a chicken. <laughs> a small chicken. <laughs> what about the chicken? He didn't have an asshole. You guys know? Yeah. The chicken didn't have the asshole. <laughs> He farts. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
explodes. <laughs> explodes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Right, no idea what's going on right now. I'm so lost. <laughs> Somebody please explain this to me. I don't know. I have another one. <laughs> there is a crab. <laughs> A big crab. <laughs> a huge crab. <laughs> he didn't have a butthole. <laughs> no. Guess what? <laughs> he farts. <laughs> <laughs> Explode. All right. Sure. Okay. What's, what was that, Nikki? Nick. What? What was the crab? What? <laughs> what? Oh. Was it the frog? Also the frog? <laughs> no, it was the fucking horse, the tiny horse. <laughs> I have no idea what's going pony. on right now. <laughs> a pony, a fucking pony. You know? <laughs> See, now Jared's Andrew, even getting freaked out. He's like, I don't what know. What do you think happens with the tiny pony? <laughs> Poor pony. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jared looks mortified. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh man. Oh fucking hell. All right. Well, we've been living together for like five days. And, you know, I wish I had your confidence, man. You know, you're all like, you think you're cool with your hat and everything. But, <laughs> you know, you always think you get my name right. You're like, hey, man. Yeah. And you didn't do it right, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wish I had that confidence, man. So great job on that. Mm. You know, um, you showed up. And you showcase so many creators here, more talented, and that get more attention than you do. It's <laughs> like you're the architect of your own irrelevancy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sky Limit. You want attention all the time. And you pulled a stunt yesterday. I guess it's natural for a group of creators that's entire career is best of, based off gimmicks instead of real talent. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Oh. You're wearing a crown and you're not a queen. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. You know, I can't believe your career is so done that you became a rooster to wake up people with less followers than you. <laughs> you know, Jared put us through boy. hell with stupid challenges just to come back home and hear him say that he's tired and he always passes out. You guys don't do fucking shit. Clearly 30s is the new 20s. Uh, your metal chugs phase is pretty cringe, but not as bad as this stupid idea of a joke, you know, and like roasting you. It's kind of like past that. What the fuck is going on right now? Wait, I, I literally don't know where these jokes go from being funny to just being personal all-out attacks on people. <clears throat> like, Thank you, everyone, for all the kind words. On? You really went after my hairline there. My talent, <clears throat> my views. But before I get started, I just want to say I do appreciate each and every one of you. 
taking the time to come here and be a part of this. You guys have inspired me over this last week and over the last few years of watching you make music and content. It's a very difficult time for musicians right now. Views are down. Mm. The industry is oversaturated with younger and more talented players than all of us here. <laughs> Originality is getting harder and harder. The odds are stacked against us. But I believe there is still a place for us to share space in the world of entertainment. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. With all that being said, Anthony, I loved you in Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Hook joke. Thank you for taking time away from sailing the high seas to join us. <laughs> Anthony, you are most known for your YouTube series, 10 Second Songs, and you also starred in The Dirt, the film about Motley Crue. Really? It's obvious that the producers of that film were fans of your channel because they only gave you 10 seconds of screen time. <laughs> Anthony, you have the voice of a modern day Vince Neil. <laughs> <laughs> and if all else fails, you can always try your hand at acting again if Netflix ever reboots Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> Damien. Damien is a very close friend of mine. We used to play shows together back in the day. One time, actually, Damien was on tour with his band and their van caught on fire, effectively mm -hmm. destroying his entire drum set. But unfortunately for all of us, Damien kept playing. Mm. It's crazy that people constantly pray for a sign from God and you literally had one right in front of you. <laughs> Nick, oh Nick. You've been making content for about eh, 10 years now. We kind of started around the same time, except I was way more original and got like 500 million more views, but who's keeping track? <laughs> but over the last couple of years, I have stepped away from making content and you have soared. Hmm. It's good to know that all you needed to get views was for everyone to stop watching me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's pretty accurate that you call yourself Nick Nocturnal, though. I mean, look at the guy. <laughs> Fur. The pale skin, the dark, lifeless eyes. You look like you've been up for three days trying to find a guitar tone that doesn't suck. <laughs> it's a really good thing that Canada has universal health care because I genuinely think you're going to die. <laughs> 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 Lauren, you were in a couple different projects, Red Handed Denial and Crazy 88. Recently I've seen you doing some collab work with Halo Scene, which is great, by the way. You're really giving us so much content. It's just a shame that it's all filler. Kidding, of course, you're an amazing singer, but when you work with people like Jared Alonji, the ceiling is very, very low. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but you're actually a very intelligent guitar player. Your knowledge of theory is impressive. Rudy has such a handsome face, great hair, strong physique. We can only hope that one day his personality will catch up. <laughs> I'm really glad this person was able to get time away from the Shire to join us this week. Sophie. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Sophie is so short, she's the only person who can sneak up on you from the front. <laughs> you know, sometimes when larger people fly, they have to buy two seats, but Sophie saved money by sneaking through in Bradley's carry-on. <laughs> Speaking of Bradley, your content reminds me a little bit of my own style. Silly, guitar-oriented, about 10 years past its prime. Mm. Your musical ability is the culinary equivalent of baked beans. But you did help get Sophie here, so at least you're good for something. <laughs> Andrew Baina. As you all know, we recently celebrated Andrew Baina's birthday. Before everyone arrived, I asked him <laughs> what kind of dessert that he wanted for the celebration. He could have picked anything imaginable. Mm -hmm. All he said was something vanilla. <laughs> nice. Vanilla. At least your taste buds are consistent with your music. Yeah. 
<laughs> Paula, everyone always says, come to Brazil. But I just decided it's much easier to bring Brazil here. Paula started playing guitar at a young age. She was highly respected as a musician and had a very bright future ahead of her. Then she started playing guitar for MTV, which would have been cool in 1995. Fast forward to present day. Here she is alongside you all filming a show for my YouTube channel. Paula, your career is declining more rapidly than Nick's health. <laughs> Austin, you are probably what I would call my best friend. Mm. I've known you for more than 10 years. Austin is also the funniest person that I've ever met. It's good to know that I can spend weeks writing jokes and they will never be funnier than one half-assed remark from him. <laughs> Austin's only fault is that he's chronically late to everything. They say that weed can slow you down, and if that's true, Austin, maybe you should switch to cocaine. <laughs> but you are a free spirit, and with great genius also comes great laziness. Justin, you are a phenomenal vocalist, easily one of my favorites. We've known each other for years. I've watched you grow in your musical journey to a point where now you're playing in a band with Mike Portnoy's son which just goes to show, even with big connections, you can still fail. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you have the heart of a lion and the personality of my meth head uncle. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, your band Tala is one of my favorite bands, and I'm very excited for what you all have planned next. Hopefully it's not you getting canceled. <laughs> Sunfire. Sunfire, you are a great drummer, and you've been streaming on Twitch for quite a few years now. Mm. Recently, you've adopted this new toad persona, and you've gone viral from that, proving time and time again that the best thing Twitch streamers are good at is being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Drusif, I quickly wrote down the first few jokes that came to my mind, but... Unfortunately, I don't think that we have the time. <laughs> so I'll just say this. You and I have been making YouTube videos for years. We've worked on songs together. And who would have thought all these years later, here you are, still trying to succeed by putting your heart and soul into your music, pouring blood, sweat, and tears into chasing after the things that you're passionate about, spending countless hours in a dungeon, writing music from the soul, Screaming from the rooftops, why won't anyone listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Stevie T drives around in his brand new McLaren <laughs> after making his 37th Rage Shadow Legends ad. <laughs> Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Dylan, this is the first time we've ever met in person. I don't know much about you except you're now playing drums for my manager's band, Dragged Under. My sincere condolences. <laughs> I am so excited for you to find out why his whole band quit on him. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> That's great. But you actually filled in super last minute for somebody who dropped out of the show, so thank you for that. Just know if I had more time to find a replacement, you would not be here. <laughs> well, wow. Himena. Himena <laughs> is very confident, but she's also very fragile. She once broke six ribs at a Simple Plan concert. Seven. Seven. Wow. Simple Plan? Really? <laughs> Himena is an absolutely incredible guitar player. She could outshred me any day, and you can check out her amazing shredding skills for her upcoming tour where she'll be playing four chord songs with Drake Bell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing she's at least 18. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, these are all jokes. You are all incredibly talented. It's been my honor to host this event alongside my good friend, Angel. Angel is hands down the most attractive person here, but that really is not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> Having you host this event alongside me might have been the worst blow to my confidence. 
Angel, you outshine us all. I love you to death, and I wouldn't want anyone else by my side to host this event. You truly do live up to your name. Thank you. To conclude the evening, I just want to say I've been making music for 20 years. I never thought I would ever be able to bring all these people together to make an event like this happen. If there is one thing I've learned, it's that it doesn't matter who's on top. If you surround yourself with good people, you will always be on top. Hmm. With that being said, surrounded by you all now, I feel like I have truly hit rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> one Thank final you. Blow. <laughs> All right. There's definitely good moments in that. I, but I just didn't know how to react to most of this, because it's like, I don't want to step on anybody's jokes. <laughs> All right. So now it comes down to the winner of this challenge, the team that made me laugh the most. Oh, One team this was a challenge. made me laugh seven times. Another team made me laugh seven times. And one team made me laugh nine times. So the winner of this last like challenge accurate, but... and the last $1,000 goes to Greystone. <laughs> A bonfire out back. We're gonna get that started in five to ten minutes. We're gonna have marshmallows and s'mores and everything. So if you guys wanna filter out that way and have some last minute vibes, hangs, say your goodbyes, let's do that and have a good send off to this event. Thanks. I just really seriously do wanna say thank you everybody for coming. When I hit you guys up, you were all just super down and that was so awesome. This has been so much fun. Hopefully we get to do it again next year. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Nice. All right. Let's go eat some fucking American sugar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, all right. So, yeah, I think I'll leave a lot of my thoughts and opinions for the review show that I'll do probably Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, what it, whenever I can get it out. But this was a little bit harder of a show to react to, mainly just because they were telling a lot of jokes and I didn't want to step on anyone's jokes. But I tried to drop in when I could. Um, like, I, I don't know how to feel about this ending it because it just felt kind of felt like an anticlimactic ending. Like, for being a music show. Well, yes, it did have funny moments and it did, and it was uh, probably funny for a lot of the people that knew. I felt like it was a lot of inside stuff. But, um,. Yeah, that, that's just my opinion. Don't don't breathe anything into it. Um, but yeah, all in all, good times. We'll see you all later.